Hi lovelies and welcome back to our channel. It's your girl V. If today is the first time you are joining us here, you are super welcome to join this family. Kindly go ahead and click on the subscribe button, like this video and your comments are welcome. So the last time I did this hairstyle and I posted it, I got a lot of comments on how to do for beginners, how to thread the hair and also my cornrow pattern. I had to put together a video of my cornrow pattern how to thread the hair and a different method of crocheting hair into your hair so keep on watching okay guys we need a yarn and a needle go ahead and put the yarn into the needle and then make sure it's equal go ahead and you cut it when you cut it then you go ahead and you create a straight line straight down for our cornrow pattern to begin okay because i would want to hold pony i had to make the line all through to the other side of my ear okay time for our corn roll take the thread the yarn secure it with your fingers and the hair and then you sew your hair how you're going to sew it you just have to pass the needle into your hair under it and then you push it out and you come back and pass it again it's just like you running a stitch i think this is called running stitch that's basically what you're supposed to do so as you are going you are pushing your hands your fingers backwards you are securing the hair and you are sewing it this is what you're going to do until you get to the end of the hair that you are sewing this cornrow pattern is super simple everybody can do it if you don't know how to do the normal cornrows you can do this you try it and see it's super easy super simple and i'll just keep quiet so you observe and you learn how to do it To all my returning subscribers, I love you so much. You all know how I feel about you. Thank you so much for your support out here. I am so grateful. I'm going to show you guys how to do this again. We're going to repeat it. So this is an in-depth tutorial. So please watch and learn. I think I'm also going to repeat it again for those who want to really learn how to do this. Please watch carefully and try it out. I'm sure you can do it. Thank you and please enjoy your video. If you are trying this cornrow pattern yourself, don't worry if it's not so neat. You don't need it to be neat because nobody's going to see into the inside the hair. Nobody's watching the, 
the most important part is you are able to do something that you can crochet your hair into. Yes. So we are repeating this for the last time. Please guys, don't be in a hurry to go because this is not the only new thing that you'll be learning. Every part of this video is something great and something new that you can learn. If you skip any part, you have skipped something you would have learned. So please be patient and learn. When you get to the end, you just cut it and then you twist the tip that is there. Twist and just leave it down. My coconut head is ready. Please, when you are crocheting, put it down. Don't raise it up. Put it down. Just like this. You put the hair into the hook. make sure you secure it into the hook close it and then pull it out open up the hole take one part of the hair just like so and then knot it lock it up that's it put the pin into the hair downwards you put the hair into the hook you lock it up push it out open the hole Pick one part of the hair and then you lock it up just like that. So this is what you keep doing until you get to the middle of the hair and then you try a different pattern. Don't forget that the pin has to be done words or else you put the hair into the hook and then you open up the knots, pull one part of the hair and then you lock it. When you get to the middle, just go ahead with the normal crochet pattern, which is you just pull the hair and then you lock up both hairs. When you get to the front, then you continue with the um, illusion method. Make sure the pin is face downwards before you crochet the hair. And don't forget to pull only one side of the hair. This way, the hair looks more natural. when you get to the front where you have to seal the hair where the line has to be the pattern has to be make sure that the pin is faced upwards please let the pin face upwards like this upwards and not downwards exactly open up the hair and then pull one part of the hair make sure you pull the part of the hair that is below not the one in front where you seal just like this see how it's looking natural let the pin face upwards before you lock the hair and make sure you pull the part of the hair that is 
at the other end of the hair not the part of the hair that is where the line is i don't know if you get it if at this point you still haven't clicked on that subscribe button please go ahead and do so like this video and your comments are always always welcome okay so we are done with this process ready to move into the next process go ahead and brush the hair to detangle it next step use a brush and brush the parts so that it looks so so natural just like this see how this looks so natural like it's my hair moving into the threading go ahead and pick a thread you can fold it two or three times take a section of the hair brush it and then you tie the thread around the hair but secure at the roots like three to four times before you start wrapping the thread around the hair so you are basically running the thread around the hair spacing it out when you get to the tip all you have to do is to pull it up just like this when you are done go ahead and tie the hair when you are done get a hot water and then soak the hair into the hot water i went in with a smaller cup so that the roots of the hair can also soak in the hot water okay our hair is properly dried we'll go ahead and remove the thread from the hair guys i left my hair for 24 hours because i didn't have time to remove it i wanted it to dry very well so go ahead and leave yours for that long or less but as long as it's dried feel free to remove it guys i was so impressed with this hair i didn't know that the threading will also give it a different look this is so beautiful guys forget my cracked voice concentrate on the beauty of this hair what this hair fine now this hair is finer than a fine wine what <laughs> please go ahead and make all of your adjustments arrange it to suit your face oh more look at your baby yo your baby is on point however i wasn't okay with the final look i had to split this hair into three parts or two parts according to how i threaded it ha guys it became bulky and very beautiful so when you are doing yours decide to split it out and please let us know how this hair turned out for you in the comment section down below do you like the part where i split it out this part or you prefer the other part this other part where i didn't split the hairs out let us know in the comment section below when you try yours and no don't go anywhere we're about to hold this hair into a pony and you don't want to miss it no you don't <laughs> so at this point you still don't want to click on that subscribe button after all my hard work please oh i'm coming to you with a cow please do so for me okay next step i held this hair into a pony and i started brushing the hair brush it just like you can see me brush go ahead and brush it but when you're brushing it brush it forward to your face line to your hair lines not backwards so that the extension can come in front of your hair and make it look like it's your hair when you are done go ahead and check if you still need to brush it or it's okay for you feel free do what you like it's your hair 
the same thing you did with the front go ahead and do with the back but this time at the back brush it downwards so that it covers your hairline and looks so natural okay so at this point i am proud of myself look at your baby adjusting her hair yes baby you are beautiful please guys try this hairstyle and let us know what you think in the comment section below will you do it then won't you do it thank you so much for sticking around up till this point y'all know how i feel about you i am grateful for your support i will see you in my next